Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Feel Good Lounge, where we are talking young Thai coconuts today um, about the chemical preservatives and the growing practices that they use, and also how I open the coconut to extract the water and the meat without it interacting with any of the chemical preservatives. Um, I have been in touch with this farm and know what they use uh, and ba- to, to preserve these. And basically, young Thai coconuts are picked about six months off the tree. There's a, there's a large green outer husk. The, the, the Thai workers cut that off with machetes by hand into this shape. They are then dipped in a chemical preservative called sodium metabisulfite. Um, it's a common uh, preservative used in the food industry, um, most notably in wine. Um, it's got antimicrobial and antifungal properties. It's basically a preservative. Uh, sulfites do occur naturally in wine, but uh, some winemakers actually add them to get even more shelf life. Um, in the case of the coconuts, they're used on the outside, and they do not make it inside of the shell. So... Um, the farm itself tests the contents every year with an independent lab. And not only have those tests come back negative of any sodium bis- uh, uh, made of bisulfite being found inside, but they're also not finding the other um, herbicides and fertilizers that they're using. They use organic fertilizers and they use chemical fertilizers and some herbicides, but those have not been found uh, in the contents of their testing. Um, there is a co- another company, a, a U.S. importer uh, of coconut water and coconut meat that's, that's extracted in Thailand and then frozen and shipped over. They say on their website that some of these farms actually inject these with preservatives and stuff like that, and that is not the case with this farm. They're basically picked, cut down to this size, dipped, and wrapped in plastic. And the plastic plays a role, too, by keeping it an oxygen-free environment, which also helps the, um, the an, you know, the anti-fungal. Uh, uh. So um, there are two basic tests that I've read that have come back negative, not finding the, the any any contents like of the preservatives or, or chemicals inside. And I'm going to share those at the bottom of this video in the links. Um, and there also are many out there that have actually dipped these coconuts in like food coloring and food dyes for hours and hours and hours and like in black food coloring and that has never gotten inside of the husk. That doesn't surprise me because it takes so long for the water to come up through the root system, go up through the tree. It goes through so many microfiltration um, getting into here and it's also a sterile and sealed environment. I'm not surprised that none of that stuff is making it in. Now, I will say that there are some bloggers out there that have misinterpreted one of the scientific journals where they were testing to see if there were pesticides in here, and they misinterpreted the data. I'm also going to include that abstract in a link below where you can read it, where it came back negative. They found nothing that they were testing for, but there are people out there that have written that, again, just a misinterpretation. So I'm going to include that as well. Okay, I'm going to go down... Uh, now and show you how I open these so that I can get the water and the meat out without it touching the exterior uh, of the coconut, which would host the, the preservative. So here we go. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to clear off some of the husk uh, on top of the shell and get that out of the way before I open it. So I'm going to do that here. Um, and... I am right-handed, but I do these things left-handed to try to activate the right side of my brain. Lord knows I could use it. So once I start getting some of this husk out of the way and getting this relatively clean, I will then make a small incision, pop this open like this, and then I'll just flip it directly over. Typically, you want to see very clear water with thick, bright white meat. And if you, the, the cloudier or the more pink or the brown the water is, I, I will typically throw that out, but this one will actually turn out to be good. So I will just flip this straight over and voila, I've got my filtered coconut water. 
And then when I go to crack it, and then I'll scoop that out with a spoon, clean it, and that's ready for the puddings. So thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions on anything Young Thai Coconuts, shoot me an email, give me a shout, and look out for uh, my future videos. Thank you.